Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you 10 tips to be zero waste while at university. So if you haven't seen my previous video, I talked about being zero waste and what it means and how to be zero waste. And after uploading the video, I realized that I missed out on some important things that I wanted to include. So I decided to make a part two to that video and focus on things you can do while being at university. Um, now it doesn't mean that what I said in the last video you can't do while at university. This is just some things that are more specific to like low budget, zero waste stuff. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Tip number one. Reduce using your printer and paper in general and try going digital. While at university, you're gonna take a lot of notes, hopefully. You're a good student. Um, and, you know, print out a lot of things, photocopy textbooks and stuff like that. And it's just gonna waste a lot of paper because, trust me, I know, I photocopied textbooks being like, I'm gonna write that for the exam. I never read it. So yeah. <laughs> Um, try going digital if it's something you can do. Most people use laptops at university, so if you can, just type up your notes. But obviously people learn differently, so like if you prefer writing, if you do better while you're writing, then that's probably what's gonna work for you, and then don't go digital. But if you prefer typing up your notes, if you prefer doing things on your laptop or on an iPad or something, then try that out. Tip number two, pack your own lunches to take to university and classes with you. This is something I tried doing, like sometimes. It depends. I was working while at university in a part-time job, so if I was at work, I wouldn't take lunch because then I'd get food at work. But if you don't work, or if you're not working at a place where you can get food, then try packing your own lunches because you will not only save money, but you'll also reduce your waste. If you're buying meal deals every day for lunch, not only is that like three pounds something a day, but that's also a packet of crisps, a can of whatever drink you're getting, and the paper and plastic packaging of the sandwich or wrap that you're getting. And that's a lot of waste if you think of that in terms of like five of those each a week. So yeah, try packing your own lunches. Um, a good thing to do is cooking in bulk on weekends or like cooking twice a week in bulk if you don't think your food can last that long. Just yeah, try making your own things. <laughs> okay, tip number three, make your own snacks. Um, I tried this a couple of times, especially towards like the end of my final year at university. Like I tried making granola, um, try making stuff on the weekend and usually that stuff will last you the whole week. So try making granola bars, cookies, protein balls if that's what you're into. You can even make things like bread and crackers and biscuits and cookies. I already said cookies then. I'm thinking about cookies now. Tip number four. Avoid disposable items. If you're getting a takeaway, which you probably will while you're at university quite often, um, try and avoid the plastic cutlery that they give you or plastic bags that they give you. Um, you can often, like, I know that Deliveroo has like an option where you can say no to cutlery. Um, and then if you're picking up the takeaway, then even better, you can try and bring your own um, like containers to put the food in and you can even bring your own bag to put the food in and things like that but obviously if you're having it delivered then that's a bit hard but you can still do your part by saying no to the cutlery tip number five um, now this is one I didn't actually think of while at university but I read about it the other day and I kind of wish I had thought about it <laughs> It's using rechargeable batteries. If you're a busy and you like having fairy lights all over your room, then chances are you're probably using a lot of batteries to power those lights. 
and batteries is a form of electrical waste. So you can try using rechargeable batteries or using fairy lights that you plug into the wall, but those are fire hazards apparently, so maybe not. I don't know, it depends. It depends what, you're, what you want to do with your room. Tip number six, um, avoid using bin liners if you can, if you feel up to it. Um, you actually don't need to have bin liners, it's obviously just for like, it's more to keep things clean, but you can try just throwing your waste directly into the bin and then when you clear your bins out, when you put it, like when you take it out, um, just empty that bin into the bigger bin. Um, obviously it takes a bit more effort because you will have to clean your bin a bit more than you normally do um, but if it's something you are willing to do um, or you think you have time to do then it's a good option to try out or nowadays they're even coming out with like compostable bin bags so try those instead okay tip number seven try freezing food now again, this is a tip that's not only going to save your waste, but it's also going to save money. Um, you can try freezing food that you cook, like if you cook in bulk on weekends or whenever you're going to cook. Or you can freeze like fresh produce, like meat, fish, um, veg obviously can be frozen. Um, even fruits you can freeze. And yeah, like you're going to save so much food from being thrown away. And you're also gonna save money because you don't keep throwing away like bad food and then buying new food. This actually kind of ties into something else. Like try try not listening to sell by dates or use by dates um, because half of the time they're not true. Most of the time like you can freeze things past their sell by date and use by date and you can even eat things past their sell by date and use by date. So Listen to your gut, like a lot, actually a lot of supermarkets now have tried to eliminate sell by dates and use by dates, but if they haven't yet, then try and use your gut feeling. Like if head of broccoli says like use by tomorrow and it still looks fine day after tomorrow, then eat it, like you're gonna be fine. Unless there's like something visibly growing on it, you're probably gonna be fine. Yeah, it's, it's crazy how much food like goes to waste from just su from supermarkets and like forget home food waste like even supermarkets who can't sell food past a certain date they like throw them away so that's pretty wild oh another another tip this is like not what I included in my tents so it's gonna be 11 now but um, in in terms of like food and stuff try shopping at the clearance section because you might be buying things wrapped in plastic in the clearance section but you will be saving food from being thrown into the waste so I guess it's kind of like a what do you want to say kind of balance thing okay tip number eight um, try to stop using kitchen paper towels like those things not only is it a lot of waste you're it's often wrapped in plastic as well which is kind of like stupid try to use cloth and like you can even make like rags out of old clothes that are ripped if you don't want to use it anymore you probably already have tons of like cloth things in your house it is a bit more effort because again like you have to take care of it you have to clean it you have to like wash it every once you know in a few days and everything but you are going to be like doing your part so yeah <laughs> okay tip number nine is to grow your own food this might be a bit intense for like some people, but, and again, I've not tried this one, okay? So I can't tell you if it's easy or hard or how it is, but a lot of things are really easy to grow. Like spring onions are a good one. Like they grow really easily. I know uh, one of my ex housemates, Tafina, shout out to you if you're watching, um, did that. But I know that some foods grow really quickly and really easily and saves you from having to buy more. Okay, now the last tip, tip number 10, is to buy loose leaf tea. If you don't like buying loose leaf tea because it's inconvenient or that you don't have one of those like sleepers, then try looking for tea bags that are compostable or biodegradable because there are some out there now. But if you can, then loose leaf will be the best. 
Um, and then in terms of coffee, try to buy instant coffee. I know it doesn't taste as good as like fresh coffee, but those like coffee pod things are a lot of plastic. So try to buy instant coffee because they come in jars rather than little pods that you just use once and throw away. And yeah. Before I end the video, there were just a couple of questions that I received on Instagram. I tried to address most of them in terms of tips and tricks, but there were a few that were asking about um, spending money being zero waste and like, like buying items to be zero waste. And to address that, I just wanted to say, you don't have to buy new things to be zero waste. You don't have to like, you know, throw everything out and restart. You probably have a lot of things in your house you can use. Like you probably have like a lot of things you can use in replacement of kitchen towel. And you probably have a lot of containers and Tupperware you can use um, to pack your own lunches. You don't have to buy like a, you know, one of those fancy bamboo lunch things. If you don't have one, then obviously buy one. But in terms of saving money, try to invest in something that's a bit more like higher on the quality side than cheaper because if you buy something cheap, chances are they're probably going to break soon and you, you will have to buy a new one anyway. So it's more cost effective to spend a little bit more on something that you know is going to last longer because you'll be earning the money back. You'll be like making it worth it. Does that make sense? <laughs> okay, and the other thing that I wanted to say is you remember when we learned like the three R's like reduce, reuse, recycle. Well, I just wanted to say, which I kind of already mentioned in my last video, that recycling is great, but try reducing and reusing first and then recycling as a last resort because a lot of things actually sadly don't get recycled and so recycling is not all as great as it seems to be. Okay, so that's it for this video. And yeah, if you haven't seen my last video, then check it out. It's a bit long, but I tried to get through everything as fast as I could. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what else you wanna see and I'll see you next time. Bye.